Okay, in this tutorial, we'll take a look at uh, some of the other features of the logic bricks. So over in here, I'm within the game engine right here. Uh, I'll go into the game engine. There we go. And then logic bricks, game logic. All right, so now what I have here is just a couple of keyboard sensors. Let's see, I have the A key set up, and I have the Z key set up. And instead of sending them into an AND controller like is common, I have them set up into an XOR controller. All right, so, and then I have that to set into a motion sensor which moves it uh, 0.20 on the x-axis. And so what the XOR sensor does, these are all really powerful logic things. They come from programming days and from uh, doing electrical, electrical circuits. And so what you can do is this says uh, if one or the other key is pressed, exclusively, this is what the X is, exclusively OR, basically, and it says if one or the other key is pressed, do this, move the object along the x-axis, but if both keys are pressed at the same time, don't do it. So it's one, it's one, this one or this one, but not both at the same time. If you wanted to do either OR, you could just use an OR sensor and press one or the other. So with an XOR though, and these are powerful little tools, come into here. So if I start it up and A and Z are my keys, so I'll start and I press A just briefly and it moves. I'll press Z briefly and it moves. But if I press both keys at the same time, which I'm doing right now, nothing happens because it's exclusively an OR circuit. All right. So these controllers are really powerful. They let you, just, they let you set up different logic states for your game if you're not going to use Python programming. You can do the same thing in Python, but this is just a simplified way to get to it through the controllers. And so Blender has a lot of features available that you can take advantage of even if you don't want to do programming, and this is one of them. So, okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.